While the state requested the accused be detained until trial, the judge denied that request, placing Mr. Williams under house arrest until the date of his trial, tentatively set to begin September 21st. Back to you, David. Ah, breakfast is served. Go on, eat up. What? It's peanut butter and jelly. It's good. Oh, you lost your appetite? Oh, shit, yeah. Of course. No, see, I know what you're thinking. But you're wrong. I used the good stuff. None of that all-natural peanut butter bullshit, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not that evil. <laughs> so come on, eat up. You're hurting my feelings. <laughs> Poison? <laughs> Don't be retarded. Why the fuck would I poison you after all we've been through? You're my partner, after all. If I had to take you out, I'd do it with pizzazz. Something to really remember, you know? And there's not much pizzazz in you. Curl up on the floor, foaming at the mouth, body jerking like... <laughs> Funny, but... Uh, no. Not for you. You get the deluxe treatment. In theory. <laughs> Stop getting all big-eyed and shit. Besides, you're just starting to earn your keep. <laughs> Why, in the ever-loving fuck, would I pull the curtain now, when the show's just getting good? Besides, I'm not being nice. I'm being practical. This is going to be your first solo kill, and it'll be that much harder if you're malnourished. I mean, sure, he's a geriatric fuck, but adrenaline's a hell of a drug. An injured animal is often the most dangerous. And what do I always say about underestimating your prey? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. Color me impressed. You're capable of retaining basic information. <laughs> hmm. Well, then, maybe you can retain this. You need to eat your fucking sandwich. <laughs> it's energy. You need energy to kill people. Especially if you're going hands-on. Especially if you want to do it right. See, killing's easy, you know? It's the getting away with it that's the challenge. And also the most important part. It's like... Wait. Have I told you this already? Fuck! I have, haven't I? <laughs> Shit. I really am becoming my mother. Just a, a slightly less sadistic version, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She's great, my mom. A real peach of a woman. We used to fight a lot, you know? It was a whole thing. <laughs> she just didn't get me. Probably because I took after Dad. Whoever the fuck he was. <laughs> I mean, at least he had the foresight to scoot on out of that shit show, huh? Common sense. Like me. Huh. But mom? Never had the stuff. Always losing her temper over the dumbest fucking things. <laughs> like, um, this one day, I'm coming home from school and I see her in the driveway, you know? Eyes red from crying. Mouth in a big, dramatic frown. <laughs> and the Oscar goes, too. <laughs> and so what, right? So what if I was studying after school? 
I thought she'd admire my dedication. Pretty advanced concept for a nine-year-old, don't you think? I think she'd be proud. But no, not my mother. <laughs> no. She just couldn't stop screaming about those fucking animals. <laughs> <sighs> she never could see the bigger picture. <sighs> Can you? Oh, good. Well, then eat your fucking sandwich already. <sighs> we have things to do, you know. Places to go. <laughs> it's recon time. And here we are. Mmm. Pretty out here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. He lives, uh, over there. Right up in that, uh, big old tree. See? Yeah. Sleeps in a nest made of children's broken dreams. <laughs> oh. What in the name of a liberal fucking Hollywood made you think we'd do recon right outside of the perp's house? <laughs> oh, oh, did you bring your binoculars, huh? <laughs> Walkie-talkies? That bullshit? You think of a call sign already? <laughs> Which one are you? Starsky or Hutch? <laughs> No, I'm not done. <laughs> you fucking dumbass. <laughs> Apparently it bears repeating. So, <clears throat> what is the most important rule? Uh, exactly. And if you want to get away with it... Incognito. <laughs> Just like when you're on the weird side of YouTube, you know? Gotta hide your shame. <laughs> so, unless you're gonna pull an invisibility cloak out of your asshole, we don't park anywhere fucking near that house. Besides, he lives in one of those old people neighborhoods, uh, senior living, whatever fucking bullshit. Not ideal. Old people see everything. Understand? They have all the free time in the goddamn world. The money to buy enough surveillance cameras to cover every square inch of their fucking tombs. 911 on speed dial and nothing better to do than to screw up some poor piggy's day by calling about their neighbor's overgrown tree for the 50th fucking time. Well, <laughs> and wait to die. <laughs> now see, if some random vehicle drives into their neighborhood... One of them will notice. One of them will get their little notebook and write it down, scrunch, 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 you know? Make, model, license plate. Just in case. So yeah, old people notice. And we don't get noticed. Because uh, rule one... Oh, my apologies for not explaining this sooner. <laughs> yeah, if only you'd let me know what a slow motherfucker you are, I would have made sure to dumb it down for you. <sighs> not ideal, like I said, but I never shy away from a challenge. Keeps it interesting. <clears throat> now... This whole wooded area up here, private property, would you think would be a danger in and of itself, you know, trespassing? 
But no. <laughs> I've walked it before, actually. No cameras. No hiking trails. Cabins. Just nature. It's nice. Peaceful. It also happens to run right alongside the neighborhood in question. So, win-win. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What about the off chance someone happens to, say, mosey on by and see our abandoned vehicle pulled off the dirt road? What happens then? <laughs> yeah. Now I see those gears turning. Gotta plan ahead, partner. Can't win if you don't plan. So, stolen plates, stolen car, driving gloves. And that's right, I'm not just a pretentious douchebag with baby soft hands. No. <laughs> As far as forensics is concerned, I'm a ghost. In. Cog. Nito. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Let's go. I don't have to remind you what happens if you try anything, do I? I just get tired of the whole... Gun-waving, threatening shtick. You know me by now. What I'm capable of. So let's just skip it, yeah? Good. Now come here. Insurance, that's all. You're not gonna need your hands for this anyway. Come on. Watch this. Just gonna... Pop this on here. Perfect. What do you think? You can't see it, can you? No. No way. Well, not if you're not looking for it. Oh. Just a camera. Little mini motion sensor spy thing, you know? Get this, it's attached to an app on my phone. Notifies me every time it's triggered. I guess you'd say it's got a built-in trigger warning. <laughs> God, technology. What a fucking time to be alive, right? <laughs> uh, huh, 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 exactly. <laughs> You don't want to walk all the way back from a successful recon only to find you've been towed. Uh, or suddenly ambushed by some sneaky 5 O's asking all kinds of messy questions you can't really answer. <laughs> well, not if you want to avoid getting your pansy ass hauled off to the slammer. Sharing a cell with Big Bertha Lee and her shank collection. <laughs> Uh, you know me, though. I'm not afraid to cut my losses. Something in my life's become more of a hassle than it's worth. Then it's gotta go. No use hauling around dead weight, after all. Might as well go swimming with an anchor chained to your foot. Either way, you're getting dragged down with it. <laughs> What? Not even an acknowledgement? That was apropos as fuck, and you know it. Whatever. Come on, Anchor. Burning daylight here. Hey, if we pull this recon off, we're gonna celebrate, and we're gonna do it right. Happy meals on me. No. Wait. Mighty kids meals. Fuck yeah. Better have a decent toy this time. <laughs>